see in, uh, in those shots uh, and, and some of the footage uh, didn't shoot uh, as well uh, as my first shot but um, again different uh, different pistol my first shot was uh, with a, a revolver 38 special uh, this time was with a uh, 22 um, pistol so um, so yeah so anyway uh, again like I said disadvantage of not having your own pistol you just got to be versatile I guess uh, if anything they'll make you a little bit um, or get you to learn quicker I guess with fundamentals in, uh, in shooting uh, different all types of uh, pistols all right so um so yes yeah, so the things to uh, to improve um, just from today's shoot um, I'm still not happy with my um, trigger control um, I think about the my trigger placement fine on my finger it's just the trigger control and that relates to my um, my pistol grip I think um, I'm still uh, you know grabbing um, that that pistol with different tensions so um, obviously that affects um, how I'm pulling that trigger uh, I mean you saw I had uh, some eights and nines there um, so obviously that was when I was uh, had everything uh, in check where I had my uh, my trigger control and my uh, my wrist locked in and my uh, my grip down down pack. I just got to get more consistent and get familiar with that um, and know what it feels like when I hit the right. So um, I guess just like anything, it's just uh, muscle memory um, and just getting used to the motion. So um, so yes, yeah, so I think uh, definitely grip control. Uh, sorry, uh, grip strength. Uh, getting that consistent grip. Uh, again, not not squeezing the life out of it, um, but getting a nice comfortable grip. Uh, so you get that trigger control happening as well. So um, I'm not liking the um, the, the muscle flip uh, left and right. Um, that's uh, that that that's uh, in relation to my trigger control. But uh, again, it's just locking that wrist down. Um, I know it's only 0.22 or a, a small caliber, but you still got to lock that wrist down to make that grip strength and that wrist wrist lock down um, uh, nice and firm. So I think that's where I'm going wrong. Is where all the movement is going. Um, my first series. Uh, the, I think it was the uh, the sighting series. Um, I, I was doing my old habit of, um, and I guess it's common with um, newbies, uh, is uh, just touching that trigger until it breaks, and then um, that's it. Um, so one of the experienced uh, shooters uh, uh, noticed that, and he advised me to, to follow through with my trigger. Um, so not just uh, stop when it breaks, but follow through uh, and pause for you know uh, half a second uh, to make sure that um, I get that nice, um, nice firm or nice uh, trigger control happening. So um, so I did that. So yeah, so that trigger control, that um, you know, holding it back and sitting down for a little bit before I uh, release the trigger. So follow through on the trigger and improve on that. Um, now uh, also the sight pitch. I'm still having trouble um, in uh, actually where the sight pitch is. I might have to go a little bit closer, experiment with that. Um, uh, whether you know uh, in that in that sight pitch in that rear sight. I'm not sure if the if the front side the tip has to be in between or if the whole front side needs to be in between. Um, I experimented with, uh, with with both, but but didn't uh, really see any difference. So I guess I have to um, have to uh, see where where I actually got to put it now. I mean, I'm, I'm, common sense says that that front side has to be in the middle of that rear side, and the whole front side has to be in it. So um, I might give that that a go. But um, I noticed the changes when I was uh, conscious about my grip strength and my trigger um, control, and um, that I did shoot quite uh, quite good or quite well. Um, I think that's where those eights and nines came. Uh, came from um, uh, stance. I think is good, nice and comfortable. Um, going up uh, and up and down with that arm, and in my stand position, I think it's natural, um, as natural as I can be. Um, I think uh, if you had a look, I've got the wide vision uh, on the back there to see how I am standing. I might look a little bit more open than uh, any uh, than, than, than usual, but it's comfortable for me. And I think um, yeah, I think you just got to show uh, what's comfortable for you. So um, so that's what I got to improve. I think. Um, um, with with uh, with my skill set, it's just those things, and uh, again, it's just like it's just getting on the getting on the range as much as you can to get that muscle memory happening and, and feeling what actually you know feeling where your body is when you shoot right and getting and knowing that feeling. So um, uh, lots to think about. I didn't realize how much. Um, obviously, it's a it's a sport. Every sport's got uh, technicalities, but um, but I didn't realize how much um, how much uh, technical the shooting actually is. It's not just pointing, looking down the side and shooting. So um. So yeah, so again, a great way to start with a .22 um, and, uh, and the IWSF uh, format uh, to definitely get those fundamentals right. Because if you don't have those um, fundamentals, uh, what I just mentioned, you're not going to be able to shoot well um, with the uh, larger calibers. Um, definitely not. All right, so um, the good thing is I know what I've got to work on, so uh, I've got to do drills uh, according to that. So like I said, the best thing for me to do is to probably go a little bit closer, go to maybe 10, uh, 10 meters um, and just... Uh, practice from there get a bit of confidence hitting uh, hitting the right 
getting uh, hitting the mark and um, and feeling where my body is actually uh, is going to be. So, um, so that's what I'll do in, uh, in my future ones, I think. But uh, if anybody's got any trip uh, trips tips, uh, you saw my um, you saw my wide body shots and um, and uh, and front. So um, if uh, you've got any um, IWFs or uh, you know I think they call standard match, uh, whether it's center fire or rim fire. Um, shooters out there, yeah, definitely um, uh, hearing out for your advice. Um, I'll, I'll learn a bit off that. So um, uh, every time uh, the range officer, who obviously is an experienced shooter, gave me advice, um, I took it on board and I, uh, I got that, uh, those targets a little bit closer. So, um, so yeah, so definitely keen to um, hit those marks. My main goal today, um, and I think I got in my one, two, three, four, my third or fourth series, um, was getting all 10 shots. Uh, so we checked our targets and got the score every every second series, so every 10 shots. Um, and, and my goal today, uh, not only was to beat, uh, try and beat my last score, but um, it's just to get 10 uh, shots uh, on the paper in one series, and I achieved that, so um, it's a win for me. Um, a bit of a bit of confidence booster. So, um, so anyway, um, that's, uh, that was how I shot today. Uh, uh, and definitely um, would appreciate any feedback or um, advice.